Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another top five supply drops of the week. We've been waiting for this episode for a very long time to go and there's not that many weeks until uh, obviously Black Ops 3 comes out soon. So this is going to be one of the last episodes of the top five supply drops of the week. What we do in the series, quite simple, you guys send in clips or videos of your top five supply drops of the week and basically I showcase it to the rest of the world. And if you do want to be featured, we'll go through that at the end of the video and some of the stuff you guys gave me uh, is pretty sweet because we have a ton of legendaries to go through and we're going to head into it as we speak. So heading over into fifth spot, we have a player called GPS. 137 and GPS 137 actually gets a cell 3 infected reinforcement professional as well as a sentinel airborne boot so there's nothing too exciting except for the fact he gets the DLC legendary the cell 3 infected and as we go through the other supply drops of the week it keeps getting better and better so as you can tell I've seen a lot of people not get this so much but I gotta say it's probably quite frequent now uh, because obviously the DLC has come out and that weapon is absolutely in shame because obviously it's the energy shotgun and out of all shotguns, I find it to be one of the most fun things to use, obviously because it is an energy shotgun. And I do in a way kind of feel like it's a bit too overpowered in a way if you're close enough. But all in all, it's a legendary weapon. He gets that. GPS 137, fifth spot, my man well deserved. Let's head over into fourth spot. We have a player called Nathaniel Garza. And as you can see, he manages to get an XMG bread and butter, some Atlas boots, as well as a HBR A3 Insanity. I still recommend the HBR A3 Insanity over some other legendary assault rifles, as I feel that's probably one of the best, uh, if not one of the best assault rifles in the game, just because you've got the damage, you've got the fire rate, and all in all, it's just a beast of a weapon. The XMG uh, bread and butter, although it's not not the best weapon it definitely is one of the nicest looking weapons with the gold and pink camo especially because it is dual xmgs it does make that weapon look absolutely amazing and you just pretty much gotta love the bread and butter in general so nathaniel garza managed to get a double elite which is absolutely amazing so fourth spot my man well deserved let's head over into third spot this is where it's going to get interesting we have a player called elliot andrew and as you can see boom he manages to get an mp11 goliath elite as well as an svo return turn to send a legendary lead as well as a sentinel esports exo so he actually gets an esports exo which is awesome uh, throughout this whole series no one has submitted one with an esports exo so that's pretty cool to see him do that uh, for the first time it looks pretty cool as well from the call of duty championships as you can tell he gets the svo return to sender to be honest out of all snipers i don't particularly like the svo too much i did have the elite uh, variant to it i think i had the elite or the normal variant to it and i didn't like it too much but i gotta say it is one fun weapon to use because you can spam it a lot and uh, most of the time you will get those one hit kills which is awesome and out of all some machine guns he happens to get one of the best which is the mp11 goliath this thing is amazing especially if you play free throw and all in all it's just a beast sub machine gun so he manages to get two elites and a legendary coming in at third spot definitely deserved elliot andrew Let's head over into second spot. We have a player called Jared Bennett. And boom, as you can see, so we're getting better stuff as we go. He manages to get an SVO return to sender as well, as well as a hand cannon elite and some Nigerian police boots. If only those Nigerian police boots were an elite or a legendary, it would make the supply drop look absolutely insane. So he gets the SVO return to sender, as I explained before. I love the SVO, uh, SVO a lot. I don't think I've used the legendary variant. May have used the elite or the normal, but either way, Way. I still like it, so I do need to try it out at some point, and he gets the hand cannon weapon. I find this weapon to be very rare, because I think there's only been about three or two people who sent me photos of this thing, and out of all people, they usually don't send it to me, and it is a pretty cool hand cannon. It's probably not the most practical weapon, but it is definitely a fun weapon to use in-game. So, Jared Bennett getting a legendary, and this awesome rare elite. I find it to be a rare elite coming in at second spot, so very well-deserved Jared Bennett. Let's head over into first spot of the top five supplies supply drops of the week and BAM! Flawless COD manages to get this. I don't know how. So he gets two legendaries as well as a blunder bus royalty. Yes, boys. Look at that thing. That is an insane supply drop. I would love to get this so much. So he gets a legendary Carnival shirt, which actually looks pretty amazing. Kind of looks like some royally kind of olden day type thing, which is cool. He's got the Cell 3 Infected, the legendary version, which obviously has the range going up by two, which I would love to use because I find the range to kind of suck 
fuck with that weapon. So the range going up by two would be awesome. He then gets the Blunderbuss Royalty. Probably once again, not the most practical weapon, but the fact that it's a Royalty Elite, as well as two Legendaries, definitely, definitely gets you in the number one spot with a very lucky Supply Drop, getting all these. I would say it's kind of rare items to get all three of these in a Supply Drop is definitely insane. So he gets two Legendaries and then a Royalty Elite to top it all off. Absolutely amazing. So that's Flawless Cod coming in at first spot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to smash that like button down below. There's not too many weeks until Black Ops 3 comes out, so there won't be too many top five supply drops. But if you do want to send in a clip or video, send it at top five supply drops at gmail.com, or you can send it at my Twitter at Glow44HD, and that would be much appreciated. So once again, if you've enjoyed, drop it a thumbs up, that would be sweet. And I will catch you guys later. Glow out.